Hello everyone, it is iReverse and welcome back to some more Knights and Dragons. In today's episode we're going to be talking about the results of the Fusion Boost War because that's very interesting to us because that has actually been happening and I promise you guys to bring that episode. But before we actually get into the results, there's a new event that has been announced. It's Call to Arms. It started today, it's going to end until the 8th, uh, 13th of April and um, I find it kind of weird that they do that they do this right now because they just had a... 40% uh, flash shield ongoing and um, to be honest they should do these things like before the guild war actually starts but yeah enough about that um, I'm gonna show you guys right now as well that if you want to give people a tectonic mantle you'll be capable of doing that by gifting some rewards by buying chests for gems and that's kind of like an expensive deal sort of but it's pretty nice because it's you know it's a free tectonic that you'll be capable of gifting away or fusion boost armor or that other armor that i don't recognize i think it's like stone scale i'm not entirely sure but enough about that let's actually go into the guild war because that's actually more interesting for us right now so uh, our our guild rank is actually rank 387 um has everything to do with the fact that we have not really been active and uh, let's actually take a look at our battle history um, so in the beginning we didn't really do a lot of battles we didn't get a lot of points really we had we won a battle against Xiaomi then we lo we won another battle against uh, Raitiri I don't even know how to Ritiri Ritiri I think it's like Ritiri how to pronounce that I'm not entirely sure I believe it's like a Finnish guild or something like that judging by the name at least so uh, 8.5 4,000 points was enough for us to actually win um, and that's like with the, uh, with the uh, added bonus that you're getting for winning 50% um, after that I wasn't there really I wasn't there in the beginning at all I mean I was away with a lot of with a couple of friends like hanging out playing some tabletop games and chilling and everything and then I came back later on and I saw that we lost a couple of battles I believe that I came back somewhere between um, CVD and TLK Corps Somewhere, somewhere around that I, I felt that we lost a lot of battles and uh, yeah but we came back and um, against TOK Corps we actually got 25,000 points the battle after that we won I was actually there the Kings of War 19,000 points pretty nice battle there and around there I like literally like woke up so I was like uh, gonna play some Knights and Dragons and do a Guild War and stuff like that I was actually planning to stay up all night but really I couldn't handle that so unfortunately for me and after that we had another battle against Nocturnal 39,000 points and funny enough I actually had to tell my members to stop jamming because they were doing it so much and I'm gonna show you guys the previous battle and as you guys can see it's like a tremendous amount of points there but uh, pretty much uh, Scribbles, Alucard and I think Alan and Qrim were like uh, were like jamming like mad because we had a frenzy. We were like behind them by 3,000 points, and then uh, we had like 8,000 points. They had like 11 and a half, I believe. But then eventually we we're like, you know, it's a frenzy, and it's about time that we actually get actually go ahead and do this because we were a little bit outside of the top 500, and we really declared this last war uh, only having one energy remaining because we already spent so much energy against the uh, the, the kings of wars. So that was, a, that was a very nice battle. We actually got ranked 387 because of that last push. So that being said, that's basically our progress. We're, we are actually going to achieve 6 Earth Fusion Boost Armors and 8 Fusion Stones. It's going to be a lot of fun to uh, enhance that again. So next up is actually the top 10 because that's very interesting for us as well. So coming in first place, you guys already saw it. It's only the bats with 5.09 million points. Congratulations to you guys. It wasn't nearly as much as the Night Raiders last time, but it was pretty close. I mean, it's like 1 million off and it's double the amount of points that they got against Epic Knight. Um, Epic Knight has done two battles, uh, only the best on the last war was rank 5 and Epic Knight was rank 4, so I suppose this is some sort of a payback, I don't really know about that. Uh, coming in third place we have Triple X Danger, they uh, were rank 7 before, so with 1.65 million points they actually got third place and right after that with 13 thousand points less we have majestic alliance and majestic alliance was rank 3 before so they actually lost one position in comparison so coming in rank 5 we have oh hey death knights <laughs> that's quite funny uh they were rank 2 before and i've never ever 
seen the Death Knights ranked on rank 5, like below that when they're in the top 25, I've never seen them on rank 5. Usually they're like rank 1 or rank 2, or not in the top 25 at all, but right now rank 5, that's like some sort of a histor historical moment. Is this the downfall of the mighty Death Knights? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, 5th uh, position for Death, Death Knights, pretty nice stuff there. So coming in 6th position, we have Quebec Fighter. Hmm. That's pretty nice because Quebec Fighter usually is around rank like 11 to 25 in the Epic Wars and I've never seen them really come close to the top 10 when it comes down to a fusion boost war. I might be wrong there again but uh, I, I, I haven't noticed it so uh, that's why I'm commentating over it. So 6th position for them, 1.25 million points. And coming in 7th position we have the Brotherhoods of Steel and it's actually quite funny because in the last Fusion War they were actually ranked 10 a little bit more points than Knights of Fereans they had 1.11 like 1.190 million points while the Knights of Fereans had 1.113 million points um, right now they actually do have a 1.2 million points so uh, that's pretty nice stuff there so coming in 8th position we have the D uh, the D, really? <laughs> That's a weird name, sort of. But the D actually has 1.11 uh, 1 million points, just as much as the Brotherhoods of Steel had in the last Fusion Boost War. But with that amount of points, they actually would have gotten rank, uh, I believe, rank 11, a little bit more than uh, the Brotherhoods of, a little bit less than the Brotherhoods of Steel. But um, nice stuff there. The D is a new guild which I haven't seen before. So congratulations to them on making it within the top 10. So. Next up is rank 9, the Gypsy Jokers. Hey, that's fun. I haven't seen the Gypsy Jokers in a while, so it's good to see them back again. Rank 9, getting, uh, I think they're getting 12 Fusion Boost Wars, uh, Fusion Boost Armors with 1.06 million points. And after that, in rank 10, we have the Plus Ones. Oh, that's pretty nice. The Plus Ones actually got 1.02 million points. Um, um pretty nice I really like that a lot because they actually proved themselves in the last epic war and I wasn't really expecting to see them back again but they actually made it happen top 10 again so I'm very curious to see um, where the plus ones are going to be within the next few within the next actual epic war because so far plus ones is leaving a nice impression to me um, doing like exactly enough points to actually make it within the top 10 so that's very nice stuff there so let's actually take a look how much the difference is between rank 11 and rank 10 because that's also very interesting because in rank 11 we have holy hot mess not making it by 23,000 points coming in rank 11 so unfortunately for them they are going to get two fusion boost armors less and uh, that pretty much rounds the top 10 for this uh, this fusion war it was pretty interesting pretty nice to see what happened uh, we've seen a lot of guilds returning from the last fusion war so that's always pretty nice stuff uh, we've seen some guilds get out of the top 10 so that also happens so I'm also very curious to see what's going to happen in the next fusion boost war because that's going to be interesting for us as well so that being said actually uh, we are through the, our topic for today we pretty much discussed everything we had to discuss for this fusion war so uh, that being said I want to thank you guys so much for watching and um, if you guys like this video make sure to boom, give it a thumbs up this was Ivor Versa for Knights and Dragons. I will be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.